Over the course of many years, Universal Creative worked tirelessly on one of the most ambitious and scenically stunning water parks that sought not to just provide thrilling slides, but a second to none breathtaking experience. Universal's Volcano Bay opened on May 25, 2017, with a lineup of world-class slides and attractions, including one of the longest water coasters, Krakatau Aqua Coaster. Built inside a volcano and sailing riders over seven large drops and then back uphill. Welcome to Amusement Labs, where today I'll show you the engineering and technology behind Krakatau Aqua Coaster. This video is sponsored by Levi Valentine, Felix Mantheza, Brandon Wiggins, and Tyson D at patreon.com slash amusement labs. Get early access and more through the link below. Located at Universal's Volcano Bay, Krakatau Aqua Coaster is a hydromagnetic water coaster built within Krakatau, the park's 200-foot man-made volcano built by Nazau Company. The ride station is located just above one of the park's lazy rivers and shoots riders into the volcano through its winding layout. Unlike traditional parks, Volcano Bay implements a virtual line system at all of their major slides and attractions. Every guest is given a Tapu Tapu wristband that represents their spot in line, lets guests interact with certain objects in the park, takes and links photos, and even can be used for payments at shops and food locations. Riders looking to board Krakatau Aqua Coaster tap their band and then return when the expected wait time is nearly over. This cuts down on having large switchbacks that crowd people in the sun and may ruin the look of the park. As mentioned earlier, the ride is a hydromagnetic water coaster and is designed by ProSlide Technology out of Ontario, Canada. How I'll explain the ride's technology is based on the publicly available patent. If you'd like to read the whole thing, I've placed the link below. Like traditional enclosed water slides, the turns of Krakatau Aqua Coaster features a regular flow of water that supports the boat through turns and also acts as a bit of a break after each drop in hill plus at the end of the ride. Riders will weave through wide and tight helixes and turns throughout the ride along with sprinklers above to keep the boat from scratching the enamel, wax, and polished fiberglass the ride is primarily made of. Water coasters are technological upgrades of regular water slides. Typical water slides often only traverse a varying downhill slope, and while there are slides that do send riders slightly uphill, it's not without compromise in length of the slide, height, and how many uphill motions there are, and even the success rates. Water coasters defy this norm by sending riders back uphill multiple times. This is, of course, with the aid of a propulsion system that interfaces with the raft or boat riders are seated in to push it back uphill. Additionally, all water coasters require that the boat or raft already be in motion when they hit the propulsion system. When riders climb up and arrive at the low platform, they board four passenger boats that slowly move by on a conveyor belt. Each boat on Krakatau Aqua Coaster is rather firm and consists of buoy sidings that you would see on a pontoon in order to support it through the regular slide sections. Each boat has a max rider capacity of 700 pounds or about 317 kilograms in order to keep the ride moving. The bottom of the boat is covered with a smooth vinyl material that allows for easy movement along the water coaster. On the bottom of the boat behind this vinyl cover is what is called the reaction plate. The reaction plate actually consists of two layers and in this case the boat uses a 1 8 inch thick or about 3 millimeter thick plate of aluminum that is 72 inches about 1.8 meters long and 18 inches wide about 0.45 meters. Layered above the aluminum plate is a non-ferrous plate of galvanized steel that is 3 30 seconds of an inch thick about 2.5 millimeters and is just as long as the aluminum plate but only 16 inches wide. These plates work together to provide a return path for the magnetic flux or field generated. ProSlide Technology is not the only manufacturer of water coasters in the industry, and in fact they themselves offer multiple different propulsion systems for their water coasters. Krakatau Aqua Coaster uses a series of linear induction motors to induce linear moving attractive and repulsive forces. The linear induction motors start by taking a line of enameled wire and winding it countless times around a laminated iron core within each stator or piece of the overall motor. 
Each stator has a three-phase winding inside and is connected to an electrical inverter that pulls power from supercapacitors, providing a stronger power supply. Each linear induction motor stator is provided with a 480 volt AC or alternating current at 60 Hz or 60 times per second. According to the patent, each LIM stator or linear induction motor stator is about the size of a large dictionary and they are separated by about half a meter or 1.5 feet apart from each other. Much like a regular spinning motor that provides rotation and motion, this kind of motor interacts with the reaction plate inside the boat to impart a linear motion uphill. When the linear induction motors impart current into the reaction plate through a traveling magnetic field, it creates its own magnetic field within the aluminum layer. In combination with the magnetic flux that the steel layer of the reaction plate redirects away from the boat, this creates the linear motion. If this sounds somewhat familiar to you, it's the same technology used on Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover, of course minus the water, as well as early launch coasters. Prior to starting down the course, each boat is weighed to assure it's under the rider's capacity. As a boat heads downhill for each drop, proximity sensors located under the slide surface sense and form the boat's velocity profile. The ride's computers then calculate what kind of power will be needed to propel the boat back up the hill using the linear induction motor setup and adjust as needed. This live system adaptation provides riders with the same experience each time regardless of the group size. As the boat passes over each stator of the linear induction motor, more proximity sensors direct each stator to turn on and check to make sure the boat isn't making it up the hill fine. If small adjustments are needed, it can make those in real time. However, if the stators can't make the needed changes, the ride will fall and the boat will safely slide back down the hill. In order to make sure each boat slides effortlessly down and back up, small water sprayers are located on both the drop and uphill climb. This keeps the surface of the slide slippery and allows for a small layer of water to help the boat essentially hydroplane over the surface. This method of slicking the surface provides the lower friction needed to keep the boats moving, keeps the linear induction motors from straining, and reduces the water and power waste. This clever adaptation of roller coaster launch technology allows for safe and contactless propulsion. It requires less water and has fewer mechanical parts than other methods. As the saying goes, the best part is no part and the hydromagnetic technology created by ProSlide simplifies the mechanics of water coasters and even makes them more intense. Putting this all together creates a system that weighs the boat, slicks the slide surfaces, tracks the boat's speed, and pushes current through the linear induction motors and into the reaction plate, propelling the boat uphill. Out of the station, we drop downward and hit the first linear induction motor, quickly sliding back uphill. We then head down again as we enter the volcano before hitting the second uphill climb, and into a quick U-turn, being misted in the process. Heading back downhill, we hit the third uphill climb, another U-turn, and another drop and climb. The process repeats until we reach the final section, where the boat makes its grand finale with the largest drop number 7 and even an on-ride photo is taken. We then head back uphill, where we hit a deeper trough of water, slowing us down, and then head back to the station. Combined with tight and close turnarounds and miss, Krakatoa Aqua Coaster sends riders through seven drops and fast uphill climbs in just one minute. Ultimately, Krakatoa Aqua Coaster serves as an excellent marquee attraction in a park bursting with fun and stunning detail as well as innovative technology. Universal's integration of Krakatoa Aqua Coaster into Volcano Bay demonstrates their commitment to providing an unmatched drilling experience, be it on rails or on water, that is, as they say, better than any man-made thrill. And that's how Krakatoa Aqua Coaster works. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you like what we do, you can join our Patreon for early access to these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the parks.